Spider-Man PS4 is one of the most beloved games of all time, being nominated for Game of the Year in 2018 when it originally released, but losing to God of War. Like many people, I picked this game up, but for some reason didn't end up completing it. So when I decided which game I wanted to be my first ever platinum trophy, Spider-Man was an easy choice. And since there is a remaster, I figured we might as well platinum Spider-Man Remastered on spectacular difficulty. Since the last time I played this game was in 2018, it was basically like I'd never played it before. Except I know one thing for certain. <sighs> Who the hell are you? I'm Peter Parker. That's not possible. I am Spider-Man. The game starts off with a police call that takes us to Big Willie Fisk's tower. Climbing to the top, we get our first boss battle with the Kingpin. Go. Boom. Oh, dude, come on. I got greedy. Oh. Dude, is he going to bust my back? Oh, I thought he was going to break my back right there. <laughs> Here we go. This fight was quite a bit easier than I planned on, especially since I'm playing on spectacular difficulty. But hey, the I'll take my first trophy. Prison. We then get introduced to a couple of important characters in this story. Our sweet and loving boss, Otto Octavius, and Yuri Watanabe. These two are really pivotal in the storyline of this game and the DLC. Before we go any further, I need to fix my suit from the fight with Fisk. But... Otto walks in on us, and Pete acts like his dad just caught him recording a Girls Gone Wild infomercial at 2 a.m. in the morning in his room. Pizza time. We then get introduced to this game's Aunt May, who is no Marissa Tomei, but you can't win them all. Her boss, Martin Lee, who I'm sure is just as wonderful as Dr. Octavius, and MJ. When we defeated the Kingpin, he warned us that a power vacuum would open up in the city, and it turns out... Uh, he was correct. A new group called the Demons started attacking. In one of the many so exciting MJ missions, we discover a plot for something called Devil's Breath, which the Demons are trying to get their hands on. MJ ends up getting trapped when the Demons attack the gallery, but thankfully Spider-Man is nearby and we go to save her. In this mission, you have to save a hostage without alerting any of the enemies. Guys, I'm gonna keep it a buck with you. I suck at sneaking missions. I'm 6'5", so sneaking is not in my vocabulary. Oh, I don't think that worked out like I thought it was going to. Oops. Oops. <laughs> don't you know who I am? I'm the juggernaut, bitch. After finally defeating the demons, we take a mask one of them is wearing to try and learn a little bit more about what they're doing. However, on our way back to see Martin Lee, we discover the shocker stealing something downtown. We quickly chase him down and just before capturing him, get our second trophy. With, someone, or for someone. with the shocker subdued, we continue to see Mr. Lee so we can ask him about the mask and where it might have originated from. However, he tells us that it's too dangerous and that our friend MJ should find a different lead. Hmm, this definitely isn't suspicious at all. Before we're able to learn more about the demons, I get an alert that the shocker has broken out and is now robbing a bank. So we had to take on the second boss of this game and I had a little bit more difficulty with this one. No deaths, baby, let's go. If you really want to rob banks. Watch it's not over yet. Watch it's not over yet. <laughs> yeah, I spoke too soon. No deaths. Instantly I die. No! <laughs> oh, dude. After I finally figured out that I needed to pull on the damn chandelier on both sides of the building, we take out the second boss and I get my third trophy. Done. Sorry, Herman. Got him. Let's go. Come on. Mm. That's it. Got to be. You brought this on yourself. Literally. The demon activity in the city continues to worsen as we progress through the story. We discover that they have a weapons cache locked up in a warehouse somewhere in the city. And this is where we meet Jefferson Davis, who is Miles Morales' dad. And this man proceeds to show us that he has the biggest hog in all of New York 
by crashing into a fucking box fan with his police cruiser and then getting out to punch the demon before he could shoot Spider-Man. Maybe that's where Miles gets it from. Jefferson Davis gets pretty injured in the attack, but gets honored at City Hall by Mayor Osborne. You heard that right, Osborne. To celebrate his sacrifice, unfortunately, we discover that Aunt May's boss isn't as nice as Dr. Octavius and is actually the leader of the demons. They'd planned an attack on the ceremony, and while the bombs are going off throughout the town hall, Jefferson Davis pushes others out of the way and tragically is killed in the process. With Martin Lee's reveal as Mr. Negative and Jefferson Davis's passing, we complete Act 1, and get our fourth trophy. At this point in my playthrough, I decided it was time to start doing some side missions and collectibles to start knocking some of the trophies out that we needed to get done. So I wasn't saving them for the very end of my playthrough. Chief was warming up. During that trophy sesh, I came across the best side mission, Black Maybe Cat. It's time to reignite the flame. Oh yeah, Black Cats. Collector. Ooh, we got a trophy. With some of these trophies knocked out, I was feeling pretty good about returning to the story to learn more about the demons. We discover Lee has a secret room at Feast, and let's just say he was not very happy when we uncovered this room. I think he might be on to me. While we're hanging out with MJ, an alert goes off for a break-in with Oscorp's CFO, and since Lee has it out for Osborne, we rush to try to learn anything more about Devil's Breath. But we only discover a single name, Dr. Isaac Delaney. This guy's supposedly at a costume party downtown and he might know more. Unfortunately, the demons beat us to him and Lee changes the doctor into a negative version of himself before he kills him, leaving us without any additional info. On the plus side though, we did get another trophy for 75 stealth takedowns on this mission. Arachnophobia. Running out of leads, we head to Oscorp to see if we can find out anything about Devil's Breath. We have to sneak our way into the building, but once we do, we discover the drug is actually named GR27, and it was developed to be a cure for many illnesses, but in its current state, does the opposite. So basically, it's like a biological weapon in its current form. Man, I hope no one releases this into the city. It would be really bad if someone did. Now that we know how dangerous Devil's Breath actually is, we decide to help Dr. Michaels with the escort of the virus. However, uh, it doesn't go well, you could say. Uh oh. Welcome aboard. Doctor. We're able to stop the truck Dr. Michaels is in. However, the demons end up getting away with the devil's breath. Spider. <laughs> Spider has failed. Are you okay? Did they take it? Yes. How worried should I be? Very. This is where the fun begins. We discover pretty quickly that they plan to release it in Grand Central Station. The demons break into the building and hold everyone hostage, but thankfully, because of some quick thinking from MJ, we're able to get into the subway station and stop Martin from releasing the bioweapon in New York. Once he finds out that he's lost, he runs away from us, and we have a very fun fight with Martin in the subway. And punch. Bro. Oh, we got some friends. And when he does one side, it's the blade. Oh, misread that. Oh, misread that one too. And there we go. I don't want to hurt you. I don't think you're the one getting hurt right now. Come on. Got him. Oh, yeah, dude. Taste that. Sweet electricity. No problem. Oh, baby, are we gonna do it? Let's go. Uh oh. It totally worked last time. Oh man. Hey, yeah, Mr. Negative.
With Mr. Negative put away, we decide to go back to our normal life and go visit our very nice boss. Except we find out that he performed a neural surgery on himself to implant a chip in his neck that controls the arms that we've been working to help him refine. And just like in the amazing classic Spider-Man 2, it goes about as well as you'd expect. Brilliant but lazy. Web bomb. Harry tells me you're quite the science whiz. You know, I'm something of a scientist myself. We leave Doc Ock's office to discover the Sable caravan that took the GR-27 was attacked, and it's gone messy. At the same time, there is a massive attack on the raft, where most of Spidey's best friends are kept. I couldn't be connected, right? We join theory to head over and try to stop the mess before any of the big bads get out of prison. Battling our way from the very bottom to the top of the raft, we discover that all of our best friends have escaped. Dude, come on. Electro, stop! On Electro. How do you like my new suit? Dashing. Where'd you get it? It's an exclusive club. Bro, I'm supposed to fight all these guys at the same time? What? Dude, how? How? Uh. Oh, shit, dude. Oh, no. Oh, crap. Get out of there, Pete. Uh-oh. Doc Ock now. Stay out of our way. There he is. Trophy, the six assemble. Complete Act 2. We don't waste any time kicking off Act 3 as we learn Doc Ock releases the GR-27 into the city and starts getting everyone very sick, including sweet old Aunt May. With Act 2 complete, I am now high enough level to get the Spider-Man 2099 suit, and man, does this thing look badass. I also get a trophy for trying on five Spidey suits. New trophy. Look at us, dude. We're a creature of the night. I am Spider-Man. Dude, it's so easy just to web these guys up against stuff. <laughs> Ace in the base, what is that? Complete all objectives in a base. Let's go. As the story continues to progress, we discover a plan codenamed Icarus, in which we track down and learn more about each of the villains that plays a part in this game. However, the whole thing is a setup by Doc Ock, and we end up getting attacked by Vulture and Electro. What is that? The Sable? Oh, it's Vulture. So refreshing to work for a man like Octavius. Does it take out work on a boss? Oh, apparently it does. It just doesn't doesn't uh, beat them. Miss me, miss me, now you die. Oh, you know what? Forget I said anything. Need to catch my breath. Take over, Electro. Uh, all right. Now let's get Electro. He's over that container again. Got it. We gotta web him again. Ooh. Take that. Oop. Dude, I'm just concrete surfing right now. He doesn't stand a chance. Get him. You got somebody. Dude, I just web swing from so far away. <laughs> Vulture's down. Got him. Should check on Sparky. Hey, and in we go. Dude, he's too fast to do the double attack. No. Okay, okay. Woo -hoo 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 -hoo. That was close, 
dude. That was so close. Grounded. What's that? Defeat Electro and Vulture. Next, I had to go take on Scorpion, but he's somehow able to sneak up on us and stabs us for a third time now, which makes this trip worse than Frank the Tank in old school when he takes a dart to the jugular. Be careful with that. That's the most powerful Trank gun on the market. Huh, got her in Mexico. Cool. Yeah, it is cool. They say it can puncture the skin of a rhino from a... Ow! Yes! We have to chase down an antidote while we're tripping absolute balls. But we finally do so and go take on Rhino and the Scorpion to take out some of our best buds that escaped from the raft. Here we go. Hey, Rhino. Okay, Rhino. Let's wrap this up. <clears throat> Never send an eight ton infant to do a man's job. Shh. Let's finish this. Oh, come on. Get me out of here. Be a man. Be yourself. Oh, dude. Yeah, that's what I'm trying to do. That's what I'm trying to do. Rhino first. Got him. Come on. Let's go. Oof, there's one down. I didn't even do anything to Scorpion. Scorpion literally got beat by Rhino. Yes, you freak show. He literally beat his own teammate. <laughs> That's hilarious. That was awesome. Sting and Smash defeat Scorpion and Rhino. With Scorpion and Rhino put away, MJ and Pete decide the best way to find a cure for GR27 is to break into Norman and Harry's home, where we learn the devastating news that Harry is incredibly sick and has been fighting for his life for a while now. This gets me even more bricked for Spider-Man 2, knowing what Harry becomes. We also find out Martin Lee was given his powers through an experiment ran by Doc Ock and Norman Osborn, which honestly, I wasn't expecting at all and makes the story make more sense on why he keeps attacking Osborn. With this new knowledge, we go to stop Lee, who has abducted Norman and trying to exact his revenge on him finally. Thankfully, or whatever, I guess, since Norman kind of fucking deserves it, we show up just in time for the second to last boss fight in the game. Oh, this guy's really fast, man. And take it. Okay, get that guy out. I wonder if I need to do the same thing where I wait or if I like attack. Let's try attacking. Oh, that didn't do any good. Here's so oh, dude, we did it. We did it. We did it. Oh. Is there a third stage? No, we're just, Pete said, nope, we're going in. <laughs> Trophy earned, stain positive, defeat Lee. Our celebration doesn't last long, however, since Dr. Octopus comes in and attacks us, almost killing Peter in the process, stealing the only antidote to GR27 and snaking Osborne almost instantly. We're in very critical condition and transported to Feast, where Dr. Michaels helps us recover ever so slightly, saying that we needed to rest or our wounds would open. But Pete's just got that dog in him, man. We go to craft the anti ox suit to battle the final boss. Somewhat incredibly fast, I might add, and take off to fight the final main series bad guy in the game. We arrived just in time for Norman to tell Otto, Know your fucking place, trash. Quickly saving Norman and going on to fight Doc Ock. Oh, the Avengers Tower in the background. Where are the Avengers, bro? I feel like this is maybe something they should be, uh. Like, where are the Avengers? Zip to him. Oh, let's go. No, get it. Get it, Spider-Man. Oh, dude, I just lost my web. Yep, my web's gone. Do that. Like, what's going on? 
There we go. Got him. After defeating Auk, you can see the pain in Pete's face. Never meet your heroes or something like that. And now it comes to probably one of the saddest parts of this game. I didn't see this coming at all, to be honest. So it blindsided me. You're going to be okay, ma'am. I've got the cure right here. Take off your mask. I want to see my nephew. You knew? I've known for a while. I never wanted you to worry. I did. And I am so proud of you. And Ben will be too. All the people you've saved. Bro. No. I don't know what to do. Yes, you do. This is with great power comes great responsibility moment, or has that already happened in this Spider-Man? Dude. Oh. Wow. Oh my God. That was really sad. Let's go earn some trophies. Part two, collectibles. Now, this is where I go around and start trying to knock out every collectible on the map, which includes backpacks. But make it quick. The odds were long, the danger close. Backpacker. But between spider- Collect all backpacks. The cop's reckless intuition. Sightseeing markers. Nice composition if I do say so myself. Oh, look at that, sightseeing. Photograph all landmarks on the map. Nice. Collectible pigeons. Yes, we collect pigeons in this game. Probably my least favorite collectible. Should get a trophy after this one. Come on. Got him. Final one. Pigeon hunter. Trophy earned. Catch all of Howard's pigeons. Radio towers. Yes, I completed the game without getting all of these. Go ahead and put F in the chat. My stream already did. <laughs> Trophy, amazing coverage. All surveillance towers unlocked. And we can't forget about black cat spots. You even get this cute little suit when you finish them all. With this done, it wraps up all our collectibles for the remastered version. I mean, Cat Prince. Track down black cat. Nice. Part three, cleanup. In this section, I went to complete the remaining items on the map, which include Harry's R&D stations, which were incredibly easy until the final one. There cannot be that many more. Oh, we're dead. Damn it. There we go, got it. Woo. Spider spins a data web. All the research data is going to Oscorp servers. Trophy earned R&D. Complete all research stations. Next, we need to take out each base, which includes the demons. Woo. All right. Now you go against the wall. Let's go. Inner sanctuary, baby. Fisk. All right. We're going to take care of both of these rocket launcher guys. Go all the kings, man, baby. The prisoner camps. Throw him. Throw him. Oh, I did. I was trying to throw him up there. Nice. Back in the slammer and sable bases. All right. Go up to him. There we go. Done. Mercenary tactics trophy earned. With the bases out of the way, I decided to tie up some loose strings that were weaved during the main storyline. Oh my God. I get it. We take on Tombstone. Oh. All right. 
That's gotta be it, yep. There we go, tombstone takedown. And I also unlocked the final upgrade, which gives me Superior Spider-Man. Now we just need to free all the students that Mr. Negative turned to get two trophies. Since this wraps up all the side missions for the game for us. Problem solved. Friendly neighborhood Spider-Man. Complete all side missions. Oh wait, that was it? You did it. All the Complete all the corrupted student missions. Oh dude, we got two trophies right there. We were really starting to make some great progress, but now I decided to take on the Taskmaster events. I tried these events earlier in the game and didn't do very well at them. If you want to get the platinum, you have to get spectacular on all four types and complete all of them at least once. So close to perfection. Woo, Fist of Fury, we got spectacular. Woo. Let's go, Spy Hunter. Got him. Boom, Ninja. Nice, short fuse. Right there. Got him. Woo. Challenger. Challenge finder. With them all done, now we just needed to beat Taskmaster themselves, which gets us another trophy. Got him. He got me, I guess you know I should say. Moves. You know I'm gonna wreck you. Surprise Here we go. me if you can. Here we go. Oh, I beat him. I already beat him. <laughs> that was so easy, dude. Master. Trophy Master of Masters, defeat Taskmaster. I was starting to make some big progress on this trophy hunt. However, I discovered I pretty much neglected one of the most daunting tasks in this game, and that's the crimes in each district. There are 20 in each district and nine districts. So, uh, yeah. Because of that, I decided to try and get some more trophies that are hanging out on the map that I needed. My, My guy's done. <laughs> Neighborhood watch. That should be both bonus objectives go there we go damn bro spider-man about town greet 10 citizens with that done i finally completed the final crime to earn the i heart manhattan trophy this lost guy this yeah i heart manhattan we got it complete 100 percent all districts dude we finally got it with three trophies to go i go knock out the optional lab objectives yeah. yeah there we go a bit of a fixer upper and now it was time to get the trophy that i felt like should be the last in this playthrough there it is right i felt like this was the right one to have for our final hey, trophy ben. Miss you. He respects Doing to my it. best to make you proud. With great power. He respects at Ben Parker's grave. All right, so we should now get the platinum trophy. Be greater. There it is. There's our first ever platinum trophy, dude. I'm so excited about that. We literally got a first one in our arsenal. First of many. With this first platinum down, I just needed to complete all the DLC to finally beat this game. And uh, I'm not sure if it's because I had been grinding Spider-Man for so long at this point, or because I didn't have a break from the game like those that played it when it originally came out. It just didn't hit for me like the main game did. We meet probably one of the most fucking annoying characters ever in Screwball. I didn't mind them much in the main game, but holy shit. And most of the missions seem like repeats of the ones that you played through in the main game that I just completed. But there is one bright spot to this DLC, Black Cat. The main story is about Black Cat deceiving Spider-Man into thinking that she has a child with him. You know my boy Spider-Man's Peter Tingle was tingling and faking her death to try to learn more about the main big bad of the DLC, Hammerhead. Felicia! Bye, Felicia. Dude, 100% the heist we then not knowing she's alive help yuri in part two but she's becoming increasingly more aggressive to the situation at hand when several of her colleagues are gunned down by hammerhead's people <laughs> as they storm the city and capture the magia basically the mafia 
to try and gain more power. Long story short, Hammerhead straight up starts pouring concrete on the Magia to show he's got the biggest hog in town. But we stop the semen truck before the mafioso are buried alive. We end up battling with Hammerhead where Yuri shows she's got a dark side. Doming Hammerhead. What did he say? And actually killing him. I'm as good as I can be when the Yankees lose. Done. The city is my family. Part three makes it all worth it when we see this. Uh oh. Yo, dude, this is wild. What's going on? Oh shit, she's alive! It's mommy! We think I was dead. Uh, how did you find me? Same way she did. And with that, we now 100%ed all of Spider-Man and the DLC for this game. And I've gotten my first ever platinum. The city sleeps. Let me know in the comments which game I should platinum next. I have a list in my Discord I'm currently running, but would love some more to go after. The next game I'm going to be making a platinum of is Black Myth Wukong. So get ready for that. Make sure to like and subscribe. We'll catch you later.